Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And now we are in the process of converting this design into a blogger template. And this is our blogger website as of now. We have added all this design to the home page and we have also created this uh, view all posts page over here. And uh, in this video, I'll show you how to create this sidebar. So we already have the design of the sidebar. Now we need to fetch these details from the blogger website. So we need to get the details of the popular posts over here. And we need to get the comments and the categories and all those things. And we need to add them to this design. Right now we are just displaying some static data over here. So we will do that in this video. Let's get started. Now if you go back to our uh, dashboard and if you click on this uh, theme tab and if you go to edit HTML and let's scroll down and go to our blog widget. So let's go ahead and fold all of this and uh, this is the error page. And here we have this uh, if condition for displaying this list of blog posts if we are not on the home page. And this is the blog widget and it is responsible for displaying these details of the posts and uh, if we fold this we can see that it is inside this uh, blog container section. Now inside our blog widget we have this uh, aside so let's go ahead and take a look at that. If I just search for name equals post here we can see that we have our post displayed and uh, if we scroll down here we can see that we have the loop for the blog post and uh, here we have the aside. So this is basically the sidebar. Now this sidebar is inside the blog widget and uh, we need to add the popular post widget over here. So we cannot add another widget inside here. So we need to make some changes in our website structure. So let's go ahead and cut this aside from here and we need to add it somewhere else. So let's go ahead and cut this aside from here. It is till here so I'll just cut it. And let's go to this uh, block container section. And what we will do is we will cut some of the container divisions from inside our uh, blog widget to move it outside our section so that we have the correct structure. So if we go to our source code and if we take a look at our uh, blog list page, here we can see that we have the post container and in that we have the container division and in that we have the content division. And beside the content division, we have the aside. So right now the post container, container and content divisions are inside this section. So we need to bring all of them outside. First of all, let's paste the aside. So I just paste the aside right here, just outside this uh, block container section. And now let's go ahead and copy these three divisions. So I'll just copy the opening tags. And let's paste it over here. And if you go back here, we can see that beside the content, we have the aside. So after the aside, we need to close these two divisions. So let's copy this and let's paste it after the aside. And this section should be inside the div with a class of content. So let's close the content div right here. And now let's go ahead and open this. And let's scroll down and uh, here we can see that we have added these divisions. Now we need to remove these two divisions from here because we had added that over here. So let's go ahead and fold this blog list division and uh, let's remove these two divs from here. And let's also remove the ending tags. And now let's click on save and let's see whether we have the correct structure. So let's go to our website and uh, reload. And here we can see that the sidebar is displayed at the bottom. So let's right click over here and let's click on inspect. Let's take a look at the structure. So here we have the post container and in that we have the container. And in the container we have the content. And in the content we have this uh, block container section. And the aside is outside all of this. So if you fold this, we can see that the aside is beside the post container. Now we want to add the aside beside the content. So it should be inside the container. So let's go back to our blogger theme code and let's see what's the problem. Let's scroll down. And here we can see we have the B loop and after that we have an if condition and we have some ending div tags over here. So let's go ahead and delete this. I think this is uh, causing the problem. So I'll just cut it and let's save this and let's see whether it works. Let's go back to our website and reload. 
And now we can see that everything looks all right. We have the sidebar displayed at the right side. And uh, on the right side, we have a lot of padding. So let's remove it. I'll just right click over here and go to inspect. And let's take a look at our container division, which is uh, this container division inside the post container. And uh, let's go ahead and add a padding right of zero. And I think that solves the problem. So let's add this padding right of zero for the post container container. Let's search for it. I'll just type dot post container container. And let's add a padding right of zero. And let's save it. And let's go back to our website and uh, reload. Right now, everything looks all right. Now let's go ahead and add this popular post widget over here instead of our static data. So let's scroll down and go to our uh, aside. I just search for it. I just type less than aside. And here we have the sidebar. So now what we will do is uh, we'll just create a section. So let's type less than B colon section. And let's give it an ID of popular post container. And let's close the section right here. And in this section, we need to add a widget. So let's type less than B colon widget. And uh, let's set the ID of the widget to popular posts one. And let's set the type to popular posts. And let's close the widget. Now this is the type of widget that Blogger already has. So it already has this type of popular posts. And now if you save this, it will auto generate some code for us. So let's click on save. And here we can see that we have this auto generated code for this popular post widget. Now what we need to do is we need to add our design to this uh, widget. So right now if I save this and if I go to our website and reload, here we can see that the popular posts are being displayed over here and uh, we have more than three displayed over here. And it doesn't have the correct design because we want it to look like this. So let's go back and first of all, let's change the number of items to show to three and let's save this. Let's go back and uh, reload. And now we can see that just three of these popular posts are displayed over here. Now let's get the content from this and add it to our design. So let's go back and let's go ahead and cut this uh, div from here. And I'll just paste it over here at the top. And now let's go ahead and add our content. The first thing we need to identify is the thing that repeats. So in our design, this is the division with the class of card that repeats for each of the posts. So we need to add a loop just before this. So let's copy the loop from here. And this is the loop. I'll just copy this. And I'll just paste it over here just after the widget content division. And now we don't need to have these three divisions over here. We just need to have one of them. And uh, we will loop and uh, generate the divisions for the number of posts. And let's go ahead and uh, close the loop. So let's type less than forward slash B colon loop. All right, now the next thing we will do is we will add the title. So if you scroll down here, we have the data post title. So I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it over here inside this anchor tag. And then we need to have the link. So let's scroll down and uh, here we can see for the link, we have data colon post dot href. So I'll just copy this. I'll also copy this target blank so that it will open in a new tab. So let's copy all of this and uh, let's paste it over here. Right now, the last thing we need to add is the image. So if you scroll down, here we can see we have the code for the featured image. We have an if condition over here. So let's copy this if condition from here. And uh, I'll just paste it over here. And now we don't need to have this div. So I'll just delete it because we don't have it in our design. We just have this IMG tag. So we will add an anchor tag and in that we will have the IMG tag. And now let's take a look at the size of our thumbnail. So let's right click over here and go to inspect. And here we can see that the size is set to 60 by 60. So let's go back and here we have this blogger function called resize image and let's set the size to 60. And now let's remove this extra ending div tag over here. Now this is the code which gets executed when we have the featured image. 
Now when we don't have the featured image, we need to display the placeholder thumbnail. So let's go outside this anchor tag and let's create another anchor tag and uh, let's copy this same thing from here. And let's close it over here. And here we will add an IMG tag and let's set the source to the placeholder image. So let's go back to our dashboard. And here if we go to pages, we have this page called image for the theme and that we have the placeholder image. So let's copy the link of the image. I'll just right click over here and copy image address. Let's go back and paste it right here. So when we don't have the thumbnail, this will be displayed. Now we can go ahead and delete this uh, previous IMG tag that we had. Right now we need to go ahead and add this division inside the includable because if you scroll down, here we have the includable with an ID of main and uh, whatever we have inside this will be displayed as the popular post. So let's cut this uh, div from here. And uh, let's paste it here inside the includable. I'll just delete all of this. And I'll just paste our division right here. And uh, now let's click on save. Let's go back to our website and uh, reload. And now we can see that the popular posts are displayed over here, but we have some problems. We have the thumbnail being displayed twice. So let's go back. Now here we can see we have this if condition and here we also need to add an else so that this code will be executed when we don't have the thumbnail. So let's add an else over here. I'll just tap less than B colon else. And let's click on save. Let's go back to our website and reload. And now we can see that we have the popular post displayed over here and uh, we have the correct design for it. Let's also take a look at the mobile version and let's see whether the sidebar goes down. And now we can see that everything looks all right. Let's also click on the popular post and uh, let's see whether we are taken to the correct link. So this is the best image generation tools out there. And here we can see that we have the correct link and get more traffic. And we have the correct link for that as well. So everything is working all right. Now the next thing we will do is we will display the labels over here. So for that let's go back. And here we have the recent comments. Now we will add the recent comments later because uh, first of all we need to create a page for displaying the single post. So now if you open this, we can see that we don't have the code for displaying the single post. So first of all we need to create that design and then we'll be able to add comments. So we will add the comments later. Let's work on these categories. So let's scroll down. And here we have the categories list. So I'll just go ahead and create a section. So let's type less than B colon section. And let's give it an ID of labels container. And let's close the section right here. And now let's create a widget. So let's type less than B colon widget. And let's give it an ID of label one. And we have a predefined type called label. So let's use that. Now since this is predefined, if we save this, we will have some code auto generated by blogger. So let's save this. And here we can see that we have this code auto generated. Right now, the next thing we need to do is we need to replace our static data with the data from our widget. So here we have the categories uh, heading, then we have this widget content and that we have this repeating element, which is the anchor tag. So we need to add the loop right here. So let's scroll up and let's copy the loop from here. So let's copy this and let's paste it over here and let's add the ending tag right here. And we can just remove all these anchor tags. We'll just keep one of them and let's scroll up and here for the label, we have this data label name. So let's copy this and let's paste it over here. And then we have the link. So let's take a look at the link. Here we have the link data label URL. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it right here. And here we also have the label count. So let's add that also in our design. So let's copy this. Now this will display how many posts are there with the specific label. So here after the label name, I just create a span and let's paste it over here. And let's add some inline styling. So let's type style equals and let's set the margin left to four pixels and we will add it inside brackets. 
Right now we need to cut this from here and add it inside the includable. So let's cut this uh, div from here. And uh, let's remove everything inside the includable. So let's delete all of this. And let's paste our division right here. And now let's click on save. And let's go back to our website and reload. And now we can see that all the labels are displayed over here with the correct links and we also have the number of posts displayed over here. And let's go ahead and click on one of these. And we can see that the post of that label is being displayed over here. Let's click on another one. Let's click on AI. And now we can see that the posts of AI are displayed over here. So with that we have finished adding the labels in our sidebar. Now here for this button you can add any link you want so if you go over here. Here we can see that this is a simple anchor tag. You can just add the link of your download page over here and then the user will be taken to that link. All right, so that's basically it for this video. We have added the labels and the popular posts to our sidebar. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.